With some things out of your control during this COVID-19 pandemic, a few things you can do, like a resiliency garden. Since the COVID-19 pandemic began, Custom Foodscaping has been busy designing and installing food producing landscapes or edible yards. And Matt Liebon is encouraging anyone stuck inside during this pandemic to populate their yard with a resiliency garden. Raised bed gardens, which are just vegetable gardens with improved soil that are kind of designed to integrate into the landscape and give people an opportunity to grow vegetables in their own backyard as well as edible landscaping, which is very similar to just traditional landscaping, except we swap out the plants for edible plants that will produce fruit, berries, all kinds of other perennial vegetables like asparagus. How does your garden grow with silver bells and cockle shells or weeds and leftover Brussels sprouts that lasted through the winter in my case? Because I think that really helps us understand and respect what it is to eat seasonally, to respect your local farmers and, and know all of the hard work that they're doing, and also to support them so that when things like COVID happen, we actually um, have a, an infrastructure of local farmers who can supply the communities adjacent to them a, instead of being dependent on some globalized food system that's way more fragile. Similar in scope to the Victory Gardens of World War II, his mission is to help Missourians supplement their grocery store with gardens. And if I, dear viewer, can grow a garden, then so can you. But don't let the experimental Brussels sprouts overwinter. It's kind of a resiliency mindset that says we can be a part of providing for our own resilience. And so I think that you know, it's definitely the modern day Victory Garden, I would, I, which has such a positive association and um, we want to bring it back. Our chief meteorologist will tell you we've probably seen the last of our freezes for now and it's not too late to get started on your resiliency garden. In Webster Groves, Patrick Clark, Fox 2 News.